ECHO has just published its first report on the use of alternatives to testing in animals under reach. Can you explain the background and why the report is necessary? This is an obligation for, for ECHA in REACH that we have to every three years publish such a report on the use of alternative methods. REACH itself is about the safe use of chemicals um, and that requires creating information on the hazardous properties and, uh, of the chemicals. The registrants have had to submit uh, to fulfill these uh, data requirements in their registration dossiers and they, um, they have done so either by, by submitting indeed the data or, or by providing uh, alternative, in an alternative manner, um, filling the data gaps. And REACH provides several options for them to, to fill the data requirements. We analyzed um, in the, our database um, how the registrant actually made use of all these provisions in the REACH regulation. And, um, and found out that the data sharing options that are provided are um, very well received by the registrants. Uh, most of the registrants made use of um, the data sharing um, possibilities uh, and that means that they avoided uh, unnecessary testing uh, in this regard. Also the adaptations for um, uh, the standard information requirements have been used extensively by the registrants uh, they made use of old data, they made use uh, also of the possibilities of uh, uh, predicting uh, properties uh, from other substances, the so-called read-across approach, and they made use of in vitro method, that is, uh, for instance, cell cultures, uh, or also uh, predictions from computer models. So all of these possibilities have been used and are in the dossiers uh, and can be found there, and we also received uh, testing proposals, uh, we received 570 for those. Uh, it's important to explain that um, this report is a statistical analysis uh, in, of the dossiers in our database. So um, we did not go into a quality assessment um, on the information provided by the registrant in this analysis. However, uh, we have other sources of information coming from our evaluation processes like um, the compliance check or the examination of testing proposals. And from this information, uh, we have quite some insight already in the quality of the dossiers. And there we know that some registrants make an excellent job uh, in providing their dossiers and others still could improve. Um, especially in the area of justifications for the use of alternative uh, approaches, um, there is uh, a need for uh, updates of the dossiers, improving the justifications and sometimes also uh, proposing a new testing. What can ECHA do to further increase the quality of the dossiers and to promote the use of alternatives to testing in animals? We are doing a lot. First of all, we are disseminating the information from the, from the registration dossiers that were submitted uh, last year. And that is a, it is a vast amount of, of information that can support the future registrants to, to develop their, their dossiers. Secondly, we are continuing our dossier evaluation work, so we are checking the compliance of, of a certain amount of uh, registration dossiers and we are examining the testing proposals. And through that, we are going to also then give further, <laughs> further support to the registrants how they can improve their, their dossiers. And uh, thirdly, we are also uh, developing our, further our, our guidance and the information material on how registrants can further uh, use alternative approaches to animal, animal testing. So this report is, is first of its kind and uh, we want to share the findings of that report also with the general public.